what's up it's me Ashley Faith back at it again with another video and today I'm doing something a little different this is my very first mukbang and I know I've been gone for a very long time but excuse me ma'am I have an explanation and that's what today's video will be about while I eat I will have a little story time. So, let's get right into it. Napkins, <coughs> water, anyway. Now, I'm gonna start with the potato because potatoes are my favorite thing ever. All right, and um, so I have butter sauce which has like minced butter, I mean not minced butter, but minced garlic at the bottom. And then I also have this Asian Thai chili sauce that my grandma taught me how to make. And it's so good and I love to eat that with seafood, so that's what I'm about to do. So today we have crawfish. Do y'all see this big old one right here? Like, look at, look at this thing. Look at this. Anyway, I didn't even really cook these crawfish. I just warmed them up. I had to go and buy them because I don't know how to cook them. For real, for real. So I didn't want to mess anything up. So here we are. Anyway, yep, 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 yep. I love potatoes, guys. Put some butter on it. So good. So, so good. Mm -mm -mm. See, butter on. Yum. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good. So, anyway, well, hold on. I was about to try to get my story started, but let me try to get into one of these first. I don't think, <clears throat> I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't really eaten crawfish very often. It seems like it's a lot of waste, though. Like, all you eat is the tail? If y'all know how to eat crawfish for real, for real, comment down below because I'm confused. Oh, and I'm not just like throwing stuff on my table. I have um, put newspaper down so that way I could be messy. <clears throat> put a little bit of my Asian sauce on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Do you eat like the claws and stuff? Is there even really meat in the claws? Oh yeah, it's just like a little crab. Look at that. That's so cool. Anyway, so mm, mm, mm. to the reason why I've been gone for so long. Um, last year I graduated college and the summer was pretty hard for me because <clears throat> I was looking for a job and there was just so much going on. I felt like I just didn't have time for anything but making money and doing what I needed to do to get myself back on track because um, I am in the Air Force. So my day to actually like officially be 100% in the Air Force <clears throat> wasn't until September. So I had a four almost five month like limbo basically where I wasn't doing much I had to find like a mediocre job which you know it's cool but at the same time when you're expecting to be like off and already doing what what you were um, assigned to do it's just a really difficult thing to kind of get all into but anyway so I now live in Mississippi and 
I'm awaiting my training, which starts in May, which is not too long. It's another month. And I'm really excited. The move down here was kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Mississippi. Like, what the heck? I was scared. I didn't know what I was going to do. Like, if I was going to have friends, if I was going to make friends easy, because I'm not the nicest person. And I feel like I can be kind of off-putting. So, you know, just the inward battle with myself and... I was leaving my boyfriend and it was just it's just so much so now I'm here I've been settled for about six months um, I'm having a great time uh, considering because you know waiting that long for class to start is kind of like but all in all you know I'm ready to get into the seat and get things moving um, I have had a lot of great opportunities. I was able to take a couple of classes and now I'm working for the air show office, which is awesome because I get some like on, well, like in the know type of stuff about major events and that's pretty cool. Mm -mm -mm. Potatoes are so good, y'all. Like, who doesn't like potatoes? You have to at least like some type of variation of a potato. French fries, hash browns, tater tots, just regular potatoes, baked potatoes, potato salad. Mm -mm. Let's try this corn. Mm, try it, but without the butter first. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 I don't even need any butter, to be honest, but I'm going to put some on here in a little bit. Doing this video has really been, um, an upward battle for me because one I don't like people watching me eat and two I'm very judgmental of myself so if you see this video I just had to have somebody upload it for me probably because I will probably take forever to do this like to edit it and all that stuff but you know we'll see and, by the way, the person who inspired me to do this, like, I've seen a whole bunch of mukbangs, but the person who inspired me to do this, her name is It's Me J, and I'll link her, um, her YouTube down below. She does mukbangs, and me and her actually cheered together, and she's been kind of like my inspiration to actually get into the groove and do this mukbang, so, you know. Y'all, I forgot, this shrimp is so good. Whew. Yeah, but if you haven't seen her, check her out because she's dope. I love her. She's my sister. Like, she she is one of the best people ever. She has such a great energy and spirit, and I just love watching her and love listening to her talk. So, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. My story time was actually really, really sucky, but I don't know. It's kind of hard. For me to kind of tell you everything that's been going on. Like. My day to day hasn't really changed much. Other than the fact that I go on base and I work. And then I go to the like change. I go to the gym. And I just kind of chill every other day. Because I'm not really like a, a go out and party type of person I'll go out to eat because obviously I love food but other than that I'm, I'm like the biggest flake in the world like it's not really for me like I'm just chilling and I want to enjoy my time by myself and 
you know, being at work all the time and being in an office with other people, it's sometimes like draining, you know? And sometimes you just need some time to yourself. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The hardest thing about moving, though, is being away from my friends that I basically went to college with and grew up with, and also being away from my mom and my boyfriend. Um, hmm. Yeah, but she's a great person. She taught me the value of a dollar. So that's another reason why I don't go out, because I do have a car payment, and I'm trying to get it paid off before excuse me, my birthday next year. So I have been saving a lot of money just so I can go ahead and get that taken care of. My boyfriend though, he came, um, he's visit visited me twice and I was so happy because I love when he's here. It makes me feel safer because I live alone. And um, it's just, it just makes me feel like it's normal being here because sometimes I find myself like, dang, I'm in freaking Mississippi. I don't really mess with anybody. I don't talk to anybody. Like, you know, you have your work friends and some cool people that you've met, but Ultimately, I'm just kind of like a loner and that's the best honestly But yeah <clears throat> Oh, yeah, don't forget to light like light like comment and subscribe If you have not already done so you might not like how the way I eat, but it's okay you can do it. My face is really shiny but that's because I put coconut oil after I got out the shower because I was trying to be popping I'm not wearing any makeup so I had to have some type of uh, some highlight mm -hmm. if you see me look over to the side it's because my dog is right here and she's waiting for me to give her food but she's Another good thing about when my boyfriend visits, I ain't gonna take out the trash. I live on the third floor. And trash is just so inconvenient. Like, oh my goodness. I find any way to like reduce the amount of trash that I I make. And I'll probably take that trash probably twice a month. That's how good I've gotten. Everything is so tasty. This is probably a really boring mukbang, but yeah, again, there are some people who just sit in front of the camera and eat. They don't even say anything. Do y'all like ASMR and stuff? Comment below with your opinion on ASMR. I think it's interesting. Like, the whole concept, but some of the stuff I can't get jiggy with, it's just, mm -mm. I barely like to hear people chew. I barely like to hear myself chew. So, whew, chill, let me tell you. Watching somebody just chew, it's like, why? <clears throat> crawfish are so interesting they really do look like bugs which is kind of off-putting but then I think about like crab and lobster and it's all basic like they're all basically the same exact thing 
they're all the bugs of the sea, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, but back to why it's been so long, other than the fact that I moved, vlogging, it just took a lot out of me. Um, and I'm not, <clears throat> I feel like I'm not a very consistent person like doing things every day because I, I do like to live in the moment and being present when I'm with family and friends and, you know, at events and stuff. So just doing vlogs, like whoever does it, I commend you for sure because it takes a lot out of you. And then sometimes I feel like when you vlog, you're you're not able to be present and in the moment. Like you're not able to enjoy it. You, excuse me, your first thought is like, oh my gosh, let me get this on camera, let me get this on camera. But sometimes, you know, just sit back and let it go, you know. Mmm, the shrimp in this, boy. Mm -mm. Hi, Pete. I'm sleepy. And I'm getting kind of full. Which, I haven't really eaten that much, but... It really doesn't take a lot. I figured that I wouldn't eat too much. And that a lot of this would be for like meal prep for the rest of the week. Well, technically next week because it is Saturday. But yeah. Shrimp are so cool. They're like the perfect bite sized little thing. But, um, if you guys want to see me eat something or see me try to cook something. Let me know and I'll definitely do it. I'm going to try to do these once a week. Mm -hmm. Once a week and upload maybe Sunday or Monday. I'm sure you see my dog. Hey, boo boo. I should have put her in the cage, but I didn't think about it. So too late now. Mm. Put some butter on this corn. Let's see what that's about. So messy. That's good. The only thing about crawfish, I guess I get why peop some people don't want to eat them. Is because it's a lot, like th this big, but this is the only thing that you eat, right? So, you waste them off. You do a lot of work for very little return. And I like a good return on investment. Oh yeah, that wasn't, I don't know what I just did. That was not it. Which was not it. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. But I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me like, oh, you didn't do this right. You didn't, you're not eating the whole thing. You're supposed to suck the head out. 
I'm gonna be like, not nah, suck the brains out. I see that is not what I would do. It's not something I'm interested in. I probably won't even do this again. Um, like crawfish at least. I'll do crab. Mm -hmm. I love me some blue crab. Boy, blue crab is it, especially when you can find a place that has them live and you can cook them. Oh, boy. Hey, I feel like I'm so old. Like, I just graduated college last year and I am not hip to any of the new lingo, none of the slang. I feel like an old lady. I go to bed at like nine o'clock and if I try to stay up later my boyfriend makes me go to bed because he'll stop talking to me terrible mm -mm -mm. next time he comes we have planned that we're going to do a mukbang together and what he wants to do is like cook and then we eat together or like I'll eat his food um, that he cooked on my channel or whatever which is kind of interesting but kind of scary because if I review his food and I don't like it he's gonna be he won't have an attitude and I ain't got time for that but I'm sure I'll be the exact same way because if he told me that he didn't like my food I'll be like well go make your own in I don't got time. I done slaved over this hot stove for how long? And now you want to tell me? You sure don't like it? Cook it yourself. Boom. This is a lot of shrimp. This is a lot of crawfish. I haven't even made a dent in it. Ridiculous. Mm. I know if I don't finish anything, I'm going to finish them potatoes and that corn. That's probably why I'm so full already because I done ate like three potatoes and two things of corn. Two of the little corny cobbies. <clears throat> I have a question though for real for real. When y'all eat seafood, like regardless, I guess whatever seafood has veins in it that you can like physically take out. Do y'all take out both of the veins in like shrimp and stuff? Because I do. Because there's sometimes, there's some at the bottom. And of course, there's one at the top. And honestly, that's why I don't like eating shrimp out in restaurants and stuff. Because usually, they only devein one side. If they even devein it at all. So, something new if you didn't know that already. People probably already knew that. I'm probably late to the party, but... Anyway, my dog's like, can you please hurry up so I can eat too, because I'm just sitting here watching you eat and you being real selfish right now. Is that how you feel? It's okay. Mm -mm, want a potato. Y'all just look at potato. Oh my god. Potatoes and potatoes. Look at all that butter. I'm trying to get some of that garlic up on there. Yum. So good. She was trying to lick my face. Here, let me move my water bottle. Mm -mm. So you can see her better. Say hi, Bean Bean. What you want, Bean? Oh. Want a shrimp? 
I didn't put any garlic in the seasoning. Also, if you have any, like, constructive criticism, please put it in the comments. Because I would love to hear what you all think about this video. It is my first mukbang, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just eating on camera. That's what it feels like. It's kind of like me eating. Well, it is me eating alone, but pretending that there's someone in front of me. So, you know, it's a little weird. But yeah, if you have any constructive criticism on like some things that I can improve on, I will be definitely more than open to listening and taking the suggestions for real for real because I do just want to get better I want to be a better YouTuber and all that jazz so whoa Mm, 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 no. Now I lick my fingers, weirdo. I'll probably eat a few more of these the rest of these potatoes and the corn and I'm gonna sign off because your girl is getting full like for real for real and um, I don't know how much more I can eat but uh yeah y'all see this little teeny piece this is my shrimp bigger than this that's it. And these small shrimp. These aren't even big shrimp. These is little. So, it's kind of like, what is the hype about crawfish? I mean, I guess it's a regional thing, so. Me being in Mississippi, it's like the rage, but other than being in Mississippi, or like near places that are really abundant in crawfish, I don't really understand the hype. But that's strictly my opinion. Don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or anybody try to come for me because I don't like crawfish like that. I mean, it's not nasty, but I don't think it's worth going to get. I would rather, I would much rather have like some crab legs. I guess when you cook them right, they're good though. So. Shout out to the place that cooked them. I don't know. I just picked these up in the grocery store. I warmed them up in a pot. So, you know. Do, no, mm, mm, mm. I don't want you to eat this, Delphine. No. No, dog. Plus, some of this food is kind of getting cold because I have the fan on because it's hot outside and I don't believe in air conditioning. I do believe in air conditioning. I just don't turn mine on because... I'm trying to save electricity and stuff. I'm trying to be energy efficient. So I usually don't have my uh, my air conditioner system on. I just popped on the thing so it'll cool down a little bit. And that it has. But mostly my food. So I cooked four little cobs. Eight of these red potatoes. Mm. 
they're like two pounds of shrimp and then i think there's three pounds of um the crawfish Ooh, i should have known better mm -mm -mm. but i'm gonna eat all i can because i gotta fast tomorrow mm -mm. and hopefully get me back on track mainly probably coming from that butter though not probably it is honey honey butter i can't imagine these carrying a lot of calories in them themselves even shrimp they're not like 18 small shrimp is um about 70 calories that's 18 pieces so if these are the size of shrimp i'm sure it's roughly the same hmm, probably who knows and i'll find out later when i log this into my my fitness pal mm -mm -mm. I can't do I can't do like fattish dancing like I shouldn't say. I'm not hip. So if you ever see me try to dance on here, don't judge me too hard. I know I can't dance. It's okay. I'm fully aware and I am fully in tune with the fact that I'm not fully in tune. I guess I'm just accepting the fact that I can't dance. It's fine, I don't care. Who gonna check me? Nobody. And if you try to, you ain't watching. Shrimp. All right, last shrimp. And then I'll do one more crawfish. Then I'm signing off, baby. Look at this one. Choo -choo -choo. Just a little twisty twist. Kinda sharp, boy. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. bloop. That butter. Peace out, y'all. See you later. Hopefully next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Say hello. Do whatever. I don't know. Have a party in the comment section. Probably not enough people watch this video to do that, but it's okay. Peace out, y'all. See you next time. Woo! Oh, baby, I'm full. My teeth is lit. There it is. Well, there's one more, but I'm about to do this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Potato. Small potato, small potato.